Saints, I am not in the habit of doing book or movie reviews, but this particular subject hit a bit too close to home for me to just ignore it. A few days ago, my daughter took my grandsons ages 7, 11 and 13 to see the movie Eclipse, one of the Twilight series. Not knowing anything about the series or the movie, I never gave it a second thought until I logged onto Facebook the next morning. There I found that one of the brethren had posted an expose on the movie and the author of the books. The thing in my searching that I found most troubling is that some so-called Christian schools are allowing their students to read these books. The number of so-called Christians who are entranced by what would have once been classed as a horror movie and avoided is appalling to me. It seems that today the scriptures are cast aside while men and women do what they think is right in their own eyes. It is written, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. There is nothing pure about these books or movies. They come out of the bowels of hell. Stephanie Meyer, the author of this series of books, which have been made into movies, openly admits to getting her inspiration from dreams in which the characters would come to her. Hmm. This woman obviously does not know that we are not to trust in ungodly dreams and night visions and our own wicked imaginations. This woman has entertained familiar spirits. It is written under Old Testament law, a man also or a woman that hath a familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. And he made his son pass through the fire and observed times and used enchantments and dealt with familiar spirits and wizards. He wrought much wickedness in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. It is clear then that to God, who never changes, that those who are a party to such things make him exceedingly angry and are an abomination to him. It is written, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. The woman is more than obviously not born again, but of a Mormon background according to her website. However, when speaking to my 11-year-old grandson, who evidently has read her books, he insisted that the woman is a Christian. She is not. This is a promo for one of her books, the first one, I believe, Twilight, on which she has a scripture. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Just because an author quotes scripture in their book does not make them a Christian, especially when their books glorify things that are an abomination to God. Things such as mind reading, automatic writing, which is writing that is a common practice amongst spiritualists, and performed without conscious thought or deliberation. The body is under the control of the spirit world, so-called. Levitation, an occult practice. Lycanthropy, the magical ability to assume the form and characteristics of a wolf. Precognition, 
knowledge of something in advance of its occurrence, especially by extrasensory perception. Clairvoyance, the supposed power to see objects or events that cannot be perceived by the senses. Some characters in the book display super strength, hearing and speed. One of the characters in the books is known to have a coven, which we all know is referring to a gathering of witches and warlocks. The books and movies are about vampires, blood drinkers and werewolves, a pagan's dream, a concept that young children don't comprehend for the most part. It is written in Old Testament law, for it is the life of all flesh, the blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh, for the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. All many see is the excitement as the movies are hyped in the media. A lot of young people are caught up in the movies because of the romance factor. Oh saints, why do some love the darkness? Why do they feed their souls on such tripe? Why do so-called Christian parents not scrutinize these books and movies a little closer and realize that they are a satanic deception and they do work their way into a child's mind and soul, and it does matter. Oh, it's only a movie, Grandma, I was initially told by my grandson, who I am glad to say that after hearing me record this video, has torn every page of his Twilight book to shreds and put it in the trash can where it belongs. Stephanie Myers, the author, has been compared favorably to the author of the Harry Potter books. No discerning Christian would consider that a compliment. These people are set forth to deceive our children and teenagers, to desensitize them to the occult. Satan looks and finds those who will open their minds to dreams of all kinds, and he inhabits their dreams. They open a door to their soul that Satan and his demon hordes may enter in instead of having the discernment to know that this is of the devil and they should resist. They become willing participants in Satan's plan. Then as the mammon pours in and they increase in wealth and stature amongst men, the trap is complete for their eternal soul. The arch deceiver is so very clever. Don't be his next victim. Shun the darkness and the very appearance of evil, that all may be well with your soul. I give credit and thanks to the following saints for inspiration and their permission to use information that they had researched. Barrett Kojos of Kojos Ministries and Megan of Mega's blog. I will post links below to both their sites for their excellent articles on the same subject.